What's up, fish fans? My name is Marcus, and you're watching Marketing Madness, the Bluefish Vlog. Our goal is to address common questions that business owners may have about marketing, sales, and business. This week, we're gonna take on the number one question we get here at Bluefish. How much is that website in the window? The number one question we are asked is, how much does a website cost? And our answer is, it depends. If you are willing to put in a little sweat equity, companies like Squarespace, Wix, or GoDaddy can help you get a website up and running for about $20 a month. These can be a great option if you just wanna have a presence on the internet. However, we think the question should be flipped. Instead of asking how much a website with all the bells and whistles costs, ask how much website you can get for your budget. How do you determine your budget for a website? We've discussed the Small Business Administration statistics in a previous video, but I'll recap. Businesses under $5 million should be spending 7 to 8% of their total revenue on marketing and advertising. To make those numbers real, a business that does $500,000 would budget $35 to $40,000 per year. A $1 million company would budget $70 to $80,000, and a $2 million company would budget $140 to $160,000. That's not to say that you should spend all of that on your website. You have to measure your requirements, your budget, and the part your site plays in your overall marketing plan to decide what percentage of your advertising budget should be spent on a website. Now, once you have your budget, partner with a company that can work within that budget to get you the functionality that you need to grow your business. I know you probably think that we're crazy, but the truth is if you're trying to build a business, you need to be investing in marketing strategies that generate business. Properly marketing your product or service helps create the necessary awareness to increase leads and accelerate sales. Now here at Bluefish, we think a website is the foundation to a successful marketing and advertising campaign. If a $20 a month option is not going to fit your needs, then you would want to involve someone with a little bit of web development experience. You could pay someone to install WordPress and a theme. They could probably have you up and running for as low as $500. There's no slight to WordPress as it's used to power some extensive websites like Huffington Post, CNN, USA Today, and more. The ability to buy a theme and quickly enter in some content makes it a viable solution for some small business owners. The next step would be to engage with an agency that is going to build you a semi-custom or a completely custom website. Starting around a few thousand dollars, you can get a website that is customized with your colors, images, and content. At this price point, you can use a more robust content management system. Now, we like to use Craft or Expression Engine for our sites. These are CMSs similar to WordPress, but with a lot more functionality that means it will be easier for you to update and manage the websites. They are extremely powerful content management systems that you'll never outgrow. The truth is, depending on your requirements, you can spend millions of dollars on a website. At this scale, you're paying for custom interactions, specific needs for gathering information, user workflows where you have ultimate control over what a user sees and experiences on your site. All these requirements mean that the agency has to spend more time developing a solution. However, those details may be precisely what your organization needs. Now, the one thing to consider is the primary function of your site. Is your site a small business brochure? Or does it need to be a full service website with support section, member logins, areas for account info, e-commerce, payment processing, and more? You'll also want to consider integrations with outside systems. Are you integrating a form for email newsletters? Or do you have methods for checking in when someone abandons their shopping cart? And adding functionality for targeting people that are visiting your website? Are there custom interactions like Realtor's website would have with the MLS? Or integrations with strategic business applications like Salesforce? All those integrations take additional time to develop, adding to the cost of your website. We know our answer of, well, it depends, is not what most people want to hear. We aim to help you see how a website for a small restaurant could be a different price than a site for a company with lots of requirements and integrations for external services. Well, that's a wrap for this week. I want to thank you for checking in. Make sure to hit that like button, and if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And if you want to talk about how Bluefish can help you grow your business, just send us a message and we'll get the conversation started.